What's up? So we're going to do a little bit of a Frameless Friday video, a little impromptu. And I'm going to uh, try to figure this out because I am not super great with Frameless. We're going to try to figure it out because I know quitter. So, had this whole pouch that uh, my buddy Robert sent to me. Um, it was actually on a frame that he sent to me. And I am going to make a real thin cut-up of some latex to try to make frameless. So we're going to try to do that today. And I think I'm going to use... <clears throat> Some point five Falcon. And we're gonna cut this up to shoot a quarter inch ammo out of it. Boop, 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 boop. Um, <clears throat> so normally when I draw to my face, I have a six inch, about a five and a half inch actually uh, active length. And so I need a little bit more than that to loop around my fingers. Um, so I'm gonna cut this straight cut and I'm gonna cut a 13, let's see, 13 and a half inch long strip. You know what, let's just do a 14, this is about 14 and a quarter, so we'll cut it the whole length of this. So let's show you that if I can here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay. So we're going to cut it the long way. Matt here. First, let's measure the whole f amount that I want. So we'll do a 14 inch. There. And then we'll line it up and we're going to cut a full, just a half inch wide strip. Straight half inch. Straight as possible. Okay. It's pretty good. The ends match up pretty close, so I think we're good. And we're going to tie this up. Clamp. This is another opportunity for me to show you guys. You don't need anything fancy for a tying jig. I've been using this tying jig for years. All it is is a piece of uh, three-quarter plywood with some little wooden blocks that are suit that are glued in place. And I put some nails in here, and then cut off the head of the nails. And uh, I'll show you how that works here in a sec. Let's do it sideways so you guys can kind of see. Band tying tool up through the pouch. We're gonna roll it top finger over and pull through. Fold 
fold the little tab. And then I take my clamp, so it's got holes in it there. Clamp it like that. And then I put the center hole on the one nail. And then I pull it till the hole is over. And then Gonna wrap one, two, three, four, and then tie a square knot. So over, under, under, over, snip off. Now we're going to do the whole thing along the thing here. Same thing. Up through there. We're going to roll away this time. Put it in there. And then pull. That looks good. There we go. You just have to make sure that it's in there correctly and then pinch it, put it on, stretch. Whoops. <laughs> Whole thing came off there. That's okay. Quite a stretch on this one. That pouch is a lot smaller than what I'm used to. So one. Two. Three. Four. And then square knot over under. Under over. Snip off the end. Okay. I also like to cut this little piece off. <laughs> Think I need new snips. There we go. And that's what we are left with now. This will go like that. And give us a few. Hugs. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Show you what I got going on up here. So, I have to put it on my finger. Like that. Mmm, yeah. It needs to be stretched. Pretty stretched just a little bit. Let's go shoot it. Oof.
targets right there. We'll get some uh, quarter inch steels here, some real tiny guys. <laughs> Holy mother. Ooh, real close. That is close. I am like right there. That's it. Yes. All right. Yeah, this is just a little tiny thing. I know a lot of people like to shoot, uh, like to shoot frameless with something quite a bit longer than this, but that's all you really need, man. And uh, I looped it around my middle finger, and I had the band come around my first finger like that, and then in my thumb like that. So I shoot like that. And uh, this is perfectly long enough for me to do my full full stretch. Anyway, cool frameless Friday video. I'll definitely hang on to this and shoot it a little bit. Um, I have a couple of the other little ring things. Um, uh, one that Hunter made and one that uh, I bought like on wish or something um a couple years ago but uh, i pull those off just from time to time i'm not a huge frameless shooter it's just that i'm not very good at it so um that's why i don't shoot it very much Let's see what happens with an eight mil Oof, I just missed that one too. I'm like right there. Anyway, this is probably better for quarter inch, but ding ding ding. Grandless Friday. Gotta do it once in a while. Thanks for watching, guys.